What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the second channel. Just spotted this video on Jubilee while I was streaming. I was like, we gotta react to it. So we're taking a look at it. I hope you enjoy. Six white people versus one fake white person. Can you find the white person? Oh boy, here we go. Yeah, but I think we do need to maybe start to figure out if someone is trying to hide in the conversation. So what would you suggest, Sam? See, yeah, that was- <laughs> <laughs> We how do you together six white people. How, how are they gonna figure out who's not white? Oh no, it'll be like, do you season your food? No, no. Yes. Got him! Ladies and gentlemen, we got him! And one fake white person. I am Asian. If the group discovers who the liar is, they'll win a cash prize. <laughs> I am Asian. No, what, what is if this? If the liar survives, what they win this? a cash prize. With no cameras and only audio, can they find the fake? This is Odd Man Out. <laughs> Do you so clap when the plane lands? Anything that will really tell me if someone isn't white. Hopefully mentioning that I don't live in the US won't get me eliminated immediately, but we'll see how things go. I feel oh like the no! Is go <laughs> yeah, I don't live in the US. Can't be white! I'm going to have prepared a lot of things and have a little bit of an act going. I wrote up my life and printed it out. This is gonna oh be Oh my so God, exciting. wow. Let's go. I love her, I love her energy. That's great. That she has, she has good energy coming into this. Chat, what do you think, guys? What do you think? Are they gonna be able to do it correctly? Are they gonna be able to guess the non-white person? Place your bets. What do you think? What's gonna happen here? Hi. Hi. Hey, y'all. Hi, everybody. everybody. Hey, everyone. Does everyone want to say, like, where they're from and, like, whatever? I'm from Spanish Fort, Alabama. I'm from Argentina. And I'm from San Diego, California. I'm from Indiana originally, but... See, I, I don't want them to be like... And I'm from Argentina, near London. I am from outside of Chicago. I'm in like the New York area. Have we all done Ancestry.com? I feel like that's a place yeah. to start. I've done an Ancestry. Same. Yeah, I've done it. Yeah. Is that a like super white person thing to do? Because I've never done it, but I've wanted to do it. So I feel like it yeah. maybe I'm might be. I'm like 60, 60% 60 English, 30% Dutch. So like an exotic combination of white and white. 35% <laughs> Irish. And then like kind of split between oh. Italian and German. So oh, that's a, that's a, oh, that's a very interesting. Interesting little combination that they made there. German, thirty-three percent Swedish, and thirty-three percent English. So. Oh yeah, you got a perfectly three-way split there. Oh That's yeah, Italian, of course you do. Thirty percent Irish, and then there's like some fun German, Greek, Norway, Scottish in there. So like I got a, I got a fun assortment of whiteness. In <laughs> we there. love. Ask them what their favorite spice is. I got like fifty percent French, twenty-five percent Irish, and twenty-five percent Polish. I am mostly Norwegian, and then the rest is uh, mixed up between Swedish and Irish. Yeah, actually, I'm the I'm the odd one here. I haven't done it. Ask them if they've ever said, "Oh goodness," before. Ancestry, but my uh, I know my ancestry, so we're Scottish and English. That's white. Thank you, Lexi. Man, uh, <laughs> sure. yeah. let's see. What kind of like foods do y'all like? I guess we could talk about that. Uh, I don't know favorite if it plays spice. in my favor being Go, not salt. like white food necessarily, but I. I'm a big fan of Japanese food. Ooh. Really into like ramen okay. and sushi. Yes. I oh, love yeah. sushi. Oh, Me sushi. I mean, so is good. I'll try to eat a bit of it. Dude, everyone food, likes ramen and sushi. Um, I quite like Chinese food. I almost always eat it. Like, everyone Italian likes Chinese food. food. Like, a lot of pasta. Like... Wait, you hate Italian food? Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey. I like pasta too. I eat a lot of Korean food, but Korean food. <laughs> that was such a white. Wait, no. A lot of lasagna. I like pasta too. I oh my god, that's the that might be the whitest thing I've ever heard in my life. I, I like, like pasta, pasta too. too. I eat a lot of Korean food, but Korean food is spicy. So often they'll go into restaurants and they'll look at me and they'll be like, "No, it's too spicy for foreigners." And I'm like, "No, give it to me." I feel like being white, like I have a good like. Heat tolerance, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we I feel like I do as well. Right here too, lots of hot sauce. What brand of hot sauce? Oh, what brand? Wait, what's the? Oh, dude, what's the most generic brand of hot sauce that everyone uses? Like Frank's Red Hot. That's that. That sounds. That's the. That's the. That's the generic one, right? Sriracha. Isn't that like Frank's Red Hot? Everyone's like, oh yeah, dude, I like Frank's Red Hot on my hot dog, bro. Uh, man, I, you know what? I don't know. I, I, I we kind of go with whatever attracts us on the shelf, but we have, I don't know, twenty different hot sauces in the fridge right now. So <sighs> when we were talking about hot sauces, and I heard somebody go. Everyone's saying sriracha, and I'm feeling kind of like, feeling kind of cold out right now because sriracha is literally the only hot sauce that I have in my house. Apart from Nando's, I have Nando's as well. I'm most suspicious of Rob. Great voice, by the way, would definitely listen to your podcast. I think I'm Great voice. 
I don't know. <laughs> I will vote for Sam, but I feel quite bad about that. Wendy? Ross. I feel like people are gonna vote for Rob. Going after <laughs> Rob and his hot sauces. Lauren? Wow. You get my vote. Fingers crossed. Wait, this is, this is Cor Corin. This is Corinne. Dude, she, she is nailing it right now. No the one votes for her. And then we have a tie <gasps> between Rob and Lauren. Each person has- No, dude, Lauren was the one who was like, I like pasta too. Like, come on. That is, without a doubt, she must have been saved by that. Come 20 on. 20 seconds to state their case. Rob, you're up first. Wow, I can't believe I'm in a tie already here. Guys, I don't understand why you would vote me out. We want to try to get the mold Guys, out come on. I, I, am... I said I had like 20 versions of hot sauce. What do you mean? Clearly not the mole. Uh, my strategy was to get the mole out early, and then we can fight it out for who's going to end up with the prize money. But getting me out early, it decreases your chances because you've got a mole still sitting in there with you. He didn't His... stand up. His, his his argument was don't vote for me because don't vote for me. Like what an awful what an awful argument Tim that was. To prove it. He just kind of went not me. I don't think so. Yeah, he's, he's, his whole like, argument was because whenever not me, anything guys. needs to be returned, my like in my family, my family will give whatever to my grandma because one, she's like an old white woman and she's also a Scorpio, so she gets things. Oh no! They brought the birth signs. Or not. Why do I know that? Because I'm white. I'm a Caucasian. Thank you very much. I only need 19 cents. Jesus Christ. Rob, I think. So I think I would just go with Lauren. So I think I would have oh, Dude, she is, she is aggressively, aggressively Caucasian. Sorry, Rob. God, I can feel the okay. whiteness radiating. The votes are in, and the person eliminated in round one is... Rob. Oh! Bye, Rob. I think I was eliminated? I don't know. Because you had a terrible argument, that's why. <laughs> Maybe it's my smooth I voice, what? Like there's a white culture? I don't think there's specifically a white culture. Everyone has their own culture, so like... Me being white English is a different culture uh, from a white uh, American to, I don't know, a white, a white... Careful, careful. German, a white Australian. White Argentinian. Yeah, exactly. Here. <laughs> At least being a white person, I don't have strong feelings about Argentina. Yeah, I don't either. At least being a white person, I don't have strong ties to like my English or Dutch heritage. I more strongly identify with the culture I grew up like in the Midwest and now but being being an Being an American, bride. yeah. I agree completely with that. Most of my school growing up was white and it wasn't really until I moved to Texas. I'm at UT now. It wasn't until I got here that I really got to see like, you know, what diversity even really means. Okay, so here I think the the conversation's great, yeah. But I think we do need to maybe get to a couple things that we could start to figure out if someone is trying to hide in the conversation or something like that. So what would you suggest? They're, I feel like they're all being super careful. They're being so careful with what they say, which I mean, you, you should be, you, you have to be really careful about this, but they're so scared of saying something wrong here. See, yeah, that was, I was like, I'm gonna say this, but then also I don't have an opinion <laughs> sure with that. Uh, <laughs> say, say your face. What's the whitest thing about you? I mean, I don't know if this is like a, I guess it could be like a white stereotype, but I'm really into like cheesy reality TV shows like The Bachelor. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I try not to watch that kind of stuff, but when I do start watching it, I, I hate get, them um, so much. Yeah, it's hard to stop. No, I hate <laughs> yeah, them so they much. Are they are the worst. They are the a worst. Lot of the time, the people that speak a lot can be the mole. Because he spoke the least, I'll be going for Ross. <laughs> Just, yeah, if you speak a lot, you can be the mole. He didn't speak, he's the mole. Yeah, I think I'm gonna vote for Sam just because he was like quiet. I feel like I probably will be voting for Lauren again. But I'm going to go both Dude, Corinne is Sam smashing this. I think I'll go with Sam again. Yeah, I voted Sam. Oh my we God, Corinne is smashing and this. I'm so proud. Eliminated this round I'm so happy for her. Sam. Hey. Bye, Sam. <laughs> I had my shot and it really didn't go well. That sucks. Oh, I get personal. Uh, if you have any experiences uh, with white privilege. As I said, I'm from Argentina. Oh, okay. I grew up, it was mostly 80% white. It's down to 65% white. I never really realized what a white privilege was until I left the country the first time I went to the US and I noticed the difference. One of my really good friends is a uh, mixed race and then I have a podcast and we were talking on the podcast. Of course you have a podcast. Of course, you've got a bloody During the Black Lives Matter um, things in the summer, he spoke about things that I didn't notice. I think it's it's good that in the world now, uh, especially the last few years, people are realizing. Yeah, I feel like. Yeah, I mean that's true. Uh, if you don't experience something yourself, then you you don't know that it exists. It takes someone telling you or you seeing it happen in real time to make to, to truly understand something. We're making progress, but there's still just so much more out there and like it's true like if i get pulled over like the first thing that goes through my mind is not like 
you know, scaredness or anything like, like that. It's more just like, I'm gonna be okay, which is really sad. I've been pulled over and sort of been scurried away. I feel like being white, at least in America, it's like- uh, I've never worried about getting pulled over in America. Even though it has happened twice. Yeah. You know? like Got pulled over twice, both on the way to PAX. Well, it was in Boston because we got in an Uber and they took one corner and immediately broke some road law and we got immediately pulled over, which was great by the way. Uh, and another one, cause we were driving at like four in the morning and a policeman pulled us over and he was like, you guys okay? I just realized that could have been a much different situation if it was somewhere like, else. There, like, That's crazy. There's like a lot of people like sort of steps behind us. Like yeah. racism and slavery has like had so many insidious effects. Like I've had the interesting experience of going from being a majority in you know, Midwest or the US to being a minority here. Even among the minorities, there's still a hierarchy. I have more privileges as a white American, even though I'm a foreigner, than other people of color who's here. All of my experiences uh, are not comparable to those uh, experienced by people of color here who have it far worse. Wait, this doesn't help anyone figure out I things though. I of Ross, but not anymore. And I'm gonna go Korean. Don't ask me why. I just, I have no, to choose someone. No, Korean at the I'm first book for Korean. Um, I don't know. He didn't really talk that much. Sorry, Ross. I will go for Kristen. I might vote for- Okay, Kimmy. Corinne is safe. I, I want her to win. I might be going this round. Oh God, it's hard, it's hard. We counted all the votes and the person eliminated this round is- It's not Corinne, she's fine. Ross. I knew it. Oh, she's still doing it. it. She's still, she's still, doing it. She's still, um, she's still doing it. She's still good. She's still good. She's still good. Disappointed. Um, I think I was kind of getting onto something, but it is what it yeah, is. Yeah, goodbye, Ross. Okay. Ross got if clapped. If everyone feels confident that you already caught the mole, you can end the game now. If the majority yes. has doubt, <laughs> the game will continue. I am afraid that if I is she gonna say yes? continue the game, I will be eliminated. I don't want to be eliminated. Please vote in three, two, Yeah, they just one. vote out all the they vote out all the boys. Oh, <laughs> they just Oh my god, that's so hilarious. Okay. They vote out all the boys and they're like, yep, we got it, dude, we nailed it. Proud to be white. Ooh, that has like, I feel like that has a lot of negative connotations. I know, see, oh, it's hard because it's like, obviously you're not proud of like, oh, you know, no. the past. I mean, I think it's sort of like a paradox. She like, said, are you proud to be white? Like, oh, the KKK no. and like proud oh, boys now. Exactly, oh, yeah. What do we say, Girl, like white, like, you know, white doing? power and like all that. I'm not proud to be white. I just happen to be white. I've benefited mm -hmm. from it, um, but I don't have strong identities to my white heritage. It's very sad to say that I always, growing up, it was just normal. I really started questioning what what was so normal about being white way later in life. So it's kind of, I don't really, again, I don't think too much about being white. It's just, I feel like it, it is what it is. It's the same. I'm blonde. I'm white. I have brown eyes. It's just, all part of the same deal, like, it's just an adjective. And it's like, that is a very like, brown blonde. Say, like, I'm proud to be black. I feel like that comes from a place of like, you know, the history they've had. You know, they've had. had to overcome so much. Yeah, yeah, and it's like, what have we- Are they just like having a conversation at this point? They all we agreed all, to end we're it. We're talking about such deep issues and it's obviously not being white. Oh, they know they agreed to continue like, the game, sorry. to talk about this, but at the same time, these are issues that everyone in society, you know, faces and sees. I think the fact that we all voted to continue means that we are all white. I guess we'll be voting for Corinne just because she was the no. least aggressively white person of the bunch. I'm gonna go with <laughs> Corinne, probably. It's just Everyone so else right. is aggressive. No, yeah, she, oh no. Yeah, there's nothing. Oh, that's so we sad. We all the votes and the oh person they got her. in round four is That was just a, Corinne. I feel like it was just a guess, dude. No. Oh, no. Corinne. Dang. That's it so does. unfortunate. I want to know like what, what it was. If everyone feels confident that you already caught the mole, you can end the game now. Rest in peace, Corinne. If the Corinne. majority has doubt, the game will continue. I think we're good. I'm done with this. I, I'm done. I want to finish the victory. Yeah, we all said no. If the color that shows up they is green, it. you all win. If it shows red, the mole is still in the game and you all lost. In three, two, one. Yay! They won. Yay! Well done. Yay! Here we go. The big the reveal. Game she is did so over well. And the white people have won. That means that the winners will be received. <laughs> the game is over and prize. the white and people have give... won. Oh, God. I'm sad that, that she didn't win, but God, the, some of the stuff. The, the, dude, the, I like, dude, I love pasta. Like, that should have immediately, like, she should have been safe the rest of the time. No one should have ever voted for her ever again.
I also do white people win at the I can't believe that. It's crazy. Anyway, that's that video, <laughs> I guess.